Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be covering make files and what make files are is they are a tool that makes compiling easier. So let's look at my situation. Here I'm in a folder very cleverly called make files. So let's see what are the files that are in this folder. Well we have main.c, statistics.c, and stats.h. It looks like we have two C files and a header file. Now if we take a look at main.c, take a nice peek into it, we see that it's a, a main program where we do some things where we have an array of doubles, we calculate the mean, meaning the average, we get the minimum, we sort the array using an algorithm called bubble sort and we print it from low to high and we also print the ratings from the array itself so now let's take a look into statistics.c so here I have a function called mean where I calculate the mean of an array then I have minimum which finds the minimum value of an array. Then I have another function called swap. What swap does is that it swaps two variables with each other. Now that doesn't seem like it has much utility, but with pointers it can because we can run an in-place algorithm, meaning that we can run an algorithm that doesn't rely on extra data and can sort itself out within itself, meaning we can have an algorithm that we can give an array and we can move values within that array without creating any new ones. Next I have bubble sort which is one of many sorting algorithms and lastly I have print array which prints the contents of an array. Now typically if I had a file as I do here, here I have a file with just functions that belong to a C program as well as another C file that has a main right these both are connected by a header file called stats.h right here are the declarations of functions or function prototypes that belong to statistics.c so this is an example of multi-file programming where I have uh, my functions declared created in another file and I have my my main code just as in one program just main by itself so if I wanted to compile this I need to type GCC statistics.c and main.c now if I didn't want the name of the executable between these two C files to be a.out I want to use the dash o option and I'm going to rename my executable run tests. So when you have since I have two files and I include them in the gcc command to compile them, what happens if I have even more files? Let's say I have 7 files. Right? That can get really complicated writing gcc and writing all of the C files and you know it can be long to type it can be difficult to find in your in your history you know when you press up so there's got to be a better way and there is one of the best tools that's used for compiling is called a make file and here's how you go about creating one when you create a make file it the, the file name of the make file has to be well make file but you want to do you want to create the file make file with a capital M so here uh, what I need to do is that I need to create something called an all target so what this does is that when I type make all it'll run the command below here which I want to be GCC statistics dot c main dot c and I want to have rename the executable to run tests 
right? This is a simple make file. I'm running the this command inside of the make file statistics.c. So now I've created my make file and has the capability of compiling. So if I want to execute the compiling command, I type make all and it runs the command for me. So if I type ls, we see the executable. I'll get rid of run tests. I'll type make. So if you type make by itself, it automatically calls all. So typing make all and make both do the same thing. Anyways, let's take a look at the output. And hey, it generates run tests. Well, you know what? Typing rm run tests can kind of get annoying. And it can get even more annoying if I generate multiple executables. And I'd like to delete all the executables with one command. So let's go back to the make file. Now, one thing, another target that I can make is called clean. And what this can do, with the, it'll run the command under here, which will just be run, remove, run, tests. So now, since I have run tests here, and I want to get rid of it, I can type make, clean. And it'll remove run tests for me. So in case I need to compile multiple files into multiple executables, I can use make clean, define its behavior in the make file, and get rid of them. So this example itself is probably the most basic form of make file. And if you use this, you know, in the internet or, or show off this talent, they all know that you're a beginner. So we should follow best practices on how to create and use a make file. There's many of them, but this is really the preferred way of creating make files. And let me tell you why. First, I'm going to create uh, parameters to my target. So all will require some, some extra things. Main.o and statistics.o. We will compile those two into run tests. So a question you might have is, what is a .o file? Well, a .o file is what we call an object file. So there are many stages when you compile your C code into an executable. One of those intermediate stages is that you convert your C code into a compiled file called .o. So .o files are compiled C code and C++ code. What's left, what's being done in this GCC command on line 2 with the object files is that they need to be linked together to become an executable. Right? So GCC does a lot of steps. It compiles your code and then actually links it all together to create an executable. So here's what we're doing with all. We are requiring that main.o as a file exists and statistics.o as a file exists. We are going to use the GCC command with it. And when we use GCC with two object files, we are going to link those two object files together to create an executable. So how do we go about creating the object files? Well, here's how we do it. I'm creating another target called main.o and here I'm doing the requirements. I'm going to add the requirements. The requirements are the files that are required to generate main.o, which is going to be main.c and stats.c. stats.h, sorry. So what I'll do is I'll do gcc main.c and I'll use the dash c command to create an object file. Actually, let's move that in between here. I like having that here. So now that we have the instructions for creating main.o, we're going to replicate the same thing with statistics.c.o, which will include statistics.c and stats.h. And just like with main.c, we're going to be using virtually the same command. and that'll be good. 
So, one thing about object files, however, is that once they're generated, if we want to overwrite them, we, we should probably get rid of them. These are files that can be easily reproducible, and it'll be especially easier with our make file. So one thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove all object files when I run make clean. Just so that way my code, the only thing that's left when I write make clean are files that are not easily reproducible. This will especially make it helpful when you have things like gits. So let's check here. Okay, we will type make and it'll compile the object file for main.c first as you can see that command there. Then it'll create the object file for statistics.c and you can see that as the second line here. Once we have both object files, we're going to compile them and link them to run tests. So I can do run tests and here's the results but you know and actually let's take it to the next level. How about I create a header file called sorting.h and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to steal from my other header file stats.h and I'm going to steal swap and bubble sort and I'm going to put them here now since I have sorting.h and I use it I need to include that here so I'll have stats and sorting actually I won't have uh, that here I'll get rid of that so I have sorting and main.c which is required and now I'm going to create a new file called sort.c so now I'm going to edit statistics.c and I'm going to steal the files the functions not the files swap and bubble sort and what should be put here what I need to include uh oh has to be a pound pound include and I'm going to include that other head header file that I just created so sorting dot h and I should probably pound include standard IO right so now it's all together so I'm going to type make clean to clean up everything now I'm going to go back to my main my make file but before that I'm going to che check the structure of my entire files so it looks like I have main.c which relies both on sort.c and statistics.c right main.c also relies on sorting.h and stats.h so what happens if I think about statistics.c well statistics.c is pretty independent and only really relies on stats.h and sort.c is independent as well because it only really relies on sorting.h. So what does that mean for the make file? So since the main file that we want to compile is going to be main, well I need to add something for sorting, for the sorting files. Which I'll add here, sort.o. I have main.o, statistics.o, and one thing that I'll now that I'll add is sort.o it has its own requirements sort.c sorting.h and actually here requires sorting.h here we will go and use gcc-c to create our object code for sort and we should be good to go here so if we type make there's no problems. We're able to recompile everything and all is good. But you know what? Now that I think about it, I want to take a look at sorting.h and I want to add a linear search. Actually, that should be an int. Linear search with double r and int len. Okay, so now let's take a look at sort.c and we will implement our linear search. Linear search where it'll be double r and int. Shoot, I already forgot if it's uh, size or len. You'll have to forgive me, it's len. 
So here, it's a linear search. We're going to search. What this means is that we are going to search every single index of our array one by one. And if, ooh, I'm missing something here. double value so this is the value that we're looking for so if r of i is equal to value we're going to return one otherwise it'll exhaust the search and if it can't find it in the array obviously it's not inside of the array and we will return zero so let me update the header file for that And go right here double value right so linear search essentially goes through the array one element at a time it compares it with value if value is equal to one of the elements inside of the array we're going to return one if it's not in the array then we're going to return zero so what does that mean for the program well if we were using GCC, I'd have to compile three C programs when I really only edited one. But with make files and creating these object files, everything is broken up into pieces. So if I type make here, I only compile main and sort. I don't need to compile statistics at all because I didn't really edit it at all. So it makes it much easier for me to add functions and libraries and additional content for my C program. And believe it or not, it actually shortens my compile time. So here's the introduction to make files. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next video.